do this. Um, so basically, gentlemen, on, this, uh, on an equation like this, you guys can see we have a squared. This is going to be a quadratic. Anytime you have an x to the squared, it's a quadratic equation. Now, solving quadratic equation, we typically are going to look into factoring. However, when we have a quadratic equation where there's only one variable, the x is squared, but there's only one x, we can simply use what we call inverse operations. So all we simply need to do is just isolate the x. You can see my x is being squared, and it's being subtracted by 5. So as long as there's one x, you can just undo all the operations. And the reason why I'm going over this is just to remind you to undo squaring, we can take the square root. But also remember, when you, take this, when you introduce the square root, you have to introduce plus or minus, right? Because 5 times 5 is 25, and negative 5 times negative 5 is 25. So you have to include the plus or minus. Therefore, x is equal to plus or minus 5. Right? And then we will also write it as a solution set of negative 5, comma, 5. Okay? That's just like the set of our solutions that I put between brackets. Just a different way to write it. Yes? Well, 